Greetings, detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The Case of the Silent Alarm Jimmy, the school district electrician, went into the boiler room to investigate why the power was off in one area of the school. After two hours and still no power or lights, the principal asked the secretary to check with the electrician about when they might expect the power to be on. When the secretary, about eight months pregnant, opened the door to the boiler room, she saw Jimmy lying prone on the floor. Fighting the urge to run to him, she hurried back to the office where she called 911. The fire department, as well as two paramedics, arrived shortly. As they walked inside the boiler room, the carbon monoxide detector clipped to the firefighter's belt, blared loudly, and they retreated outside and geared up to enter the dangerous area. Inside, they pulled the electrician out to safety and shut off the boilers and water heaters. After, they ventilated the room to remove the carbon monoxide. The electrician was transported to the hospital. We were called the next day and arrived the following morning. When we arrived, the maintenance director and her lead technician led us to the boiler room. Glancing at the CO detector clip to my belt to be sure it was powered on, we entered the boiler room. Don't worry, everything is shut off, the technician told me. How's the electrician, I asked. Doing well, thanks for asking, she said. Looking around the boiler room at the two boilers, a glaring problem jumped out. The flue pipe for each boiler had a manual damper between the barometric damper and the chimney, the manual damper was mostly closed. This must have caused the flue gases from the boiler to spill into the boiler room. When using a barometric damper, a spill switch should be considered. It mounts on the barometric damper and shuts off the boiler if excess heat is sensed from spilled flue gases. What do you think? They want to bring the kids back, the hopeful maintenance director asked. We still have some more tests to run, I explained. Addressing the flu first, I suggested either relocating the barometric damper further away from the boiler or removing it and capping the flue pipe. I was curious to know why they used a barometric damper in the first place, as the stack height was well under 30 feet, the height above which you should use a barometric damper on a Category 1 appliance. They chose to remove the damper and cap the T. We also had them remove the manual damper from the flue pipe. When we started the boiler, the air to fuel ratio was way off. The oxygen level was too low and the carbon monoxide level in the flue gases was very high. So high it caused my combustion analyzer to freeze. When the air to fuel ratio was adjusted, the owner was excited to have heat again. We replicated this for the second boiler as well. I suggested they install a carbon monoxide detector inside the boiler room to avoid accidents like the one a few days earlier. We have one, the tech said, showing me a yellow box on the wall with a red digital readout. The readout was flashing EO5. I asked what that meant, and he shrugged his shoulders and said, we lost a book for this. After tracing the wiring, we discovered the carbon monoxide alarm was not connected to a bell or warning light. It only flashed an error code when it detected an elevated carbon monoxide level. The district installed a new carbon monoxide detector with audible and visual notifications. It was also connected to their building management system, which alerted them if high carbon monoxide level was detected in the boiler room. The silent alarm did nothing to protect the boiler room or the people inside. If you would like to contact me, I have my contact information below. This includes my cell and the two websites that I publish. 
This is all the books I've written so far. I have 11 books on boilers, and they are available on Amazon.com. I write articles for several trade publications, and they are online as well. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I hope to see you on the next case.